Hey you guys, Queen of Cation Wine back at you again with yet another video. Happy Friday you guys. Um, I'm going to start off by saying this. This is actually the second time I have tried to film this. Um, I filmed the, filmed the entire video and I was a little bit upset because when I went to play the video back, poof, the video was gone. So, here I am again, take two. Um, so this video is going to be different from my normal videos. Um, if you guys have, I mean, I'm sure you guys have already read the title, so you, you know this is going to be kind of like a story time or whatever like that. Um, so this is basically just my story of, um, how I, uh, how I dealt with and how I'm dealing with, um, acne. So, um... You know, if this isn't the video for you, I actually have some things on my lap, so they're kind of rolling, and I'm trying not to let them fall. Um, but anyway, if this is not the video for you, you guys can definitely check out my other videos um, that are up on my channel. There are haul videos, there are, uh, are wig um, unboxings, there are first impressions. Guys, you can go and check that out. But this might help someone, someone who is <clears throat> currently... Uh, fighting with acne or who has dealt with acne so this might uh, be relatable to some of you guys so okay now like most I'm sorry my nose is itching um like most uh people uh I started getting acne around age 11 or 12 um you know the beginning st stages of puberty and things like that um so that's when I started actually seeing bumps and things on my face so um back then um, if I remember correctly, I used to get bumps on my forehead, and that's funny because as the years pressed on, and I'll get into that later on in my uh, my video here, um, I used to get bumps on my forehead, which is which was weird later on because I ended up not getting getting bumps on my forehead at all. But <clears throat> anyway, I would get bumps on my forehead and just maybe one or two on my cheeks. But as the years pressed on. Um, I stopped getting bumps on my forehead completely and it just concentrated mostly on my cheeks and that's where a lot of people who have struggled or, or who is struggling with acne usually get um, the majority of the bumps is on your cheeks. Okay, so as I said, I was about 10 or 11 when I started actually seeing acne. Now I, I do have older uh, siblings and they n none of them ever had acne so it wasn't like I could go to my um, older brothers and say, hey, listen, what do you guys do to get rid of your acne? There was no one. You know, I didn't have any, like, uh, uh, cousins that were around my age or, uh, or slightly older. Most of my first cousins were 15, 20 years older than me. So, you know, we had nothing in common. I had not, you know, there was no reason for me to go to them and be like, hey, what did you do about the, your acne? Because... You know, them being 15 or 20 years older than me, I mean, who knows if they would have remembered. Anyway, and so my mom, she never had acne. So I couldn't go to her and say, Mom, what did you do to get rid of your acne? So I had basically, um, in that area, I had no one that I could go to. I had friends that, um, most of my friends didn't have acne or maybe had a few breakouts here and there but got rid of them in a couple months and then they never ever came back you know so I at that time I had no one to go to and a lot of you guys might feel like that or have felt like that that you had no one to turn to to say hey what did you do you know so anyway um so my mom was like extremely helpful and you know she had no idea how to control acne she didn't know anything about it so um she, you know, went and found every single uh, over-the-counter topical cream, gel, whatever, spot treatment. She did everything to try and help me control this acne that she had never had herself. So, um, I tried, I, I'll just name a, f a few here. I've tried uh, Proactive. That was the, you know, everybody knows about Proactive. I've tried Proactive. I've tried Acne Free. Um, I tried, uh, sorry, I'm using my phone again. I'm waiting for my, uh, new camera, but, um, I'm getting messages and things. So I was trying to get rid of it. Anyway, um, I tried proactive. I tried acne free. I tried, um, spot treatments. I tried 
everything you can imagine that was over the counter. I tried it. Now, uh, proactive, it did work for me. It does work for a lot of people, but it, it, some of the claims that people make, um, as far as like, you know, when you use it, it works, but then when you stop using it, it, you know, your acne comes back full force. Like it's, it, for, that that was the same thing for me like it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to formulate the words right now but um that was the same thing that happened to me you guys um I did use proactive and and other many many others and the same thing happened time and time again and that's the thing like I still had to uh you know it took me a long time to figure out like what was what uh triggered my acne what fed my acne and stuff like that and um I would say it, it took me a long time to figure it out. Um, but, uh, and that, that's just from my actual experience, not like looking it up to see like what other people, uh, said their stressors or their, um, uh, the things that they ate or drank or whatever like that. I, I didn't read that. I went from what I did and what happened with me, um, uh, which taught me, and I keep saying, uh, and, um, and I do apologize. I'm just trying to remember back as I formulate my words. <laughs> so anyway, um, so yeah, so I later on figured out what caused, I mean, not what caused my acne, but what continued to feed my acne and what, um, triggered it. So, okay, so I tried, like I said, many, many over-the-counter, um, things. They worked for a minute, and then when I stopped using them, immediately after I stopped using them within a day or two my acne came back horribly um and I would say at the time when I was younger at the time I had what they call mild acne and mild acne is just when you get you know a few breakouts here and there on your face um and I would get those often now as females um you know a lot of a lot of us females know that that time of the month we do some of us do have breakouts and things like that, but mine was a little bit more than that, you know. Um, I would definitely get breakouts during that time of month, but I would also get breakouts whenever, <laughs> you know. So, after years and years and years of struggling with acne, I finally decided as an adult, <laughs> you know, because I, I was just over it. I was sick of it. I was, uh, you know, tired of it. I decided to go to a dermatologist, but before I get into that, um, I'm gonna let you guys know. Like I said, when I was younger, I had like mild, mild-ish acne. And as I got older and I started moving around and things like that, um, there, there are certain types of water. You guys can look it up. There is hard water, soft water, well water, things like that. And all of that, um, if you're acne prone, it definitely contributes to, um, triggering your acne. Now, my hometown... Um, my body, my skin was used to the type of water, whatever type of water it was, um, my body was used to that. So it was easier for me to manage my acne, um, at that time or what I call it managing my acne at that time. Um, but then when I moved, I was still in the same state, but I moved to a different county. And when I moved, um, the water was a little bit harsher um, so my skin was not used to it and my skin completely exploded, you guys. And I, and by exploded, I don't mean like my skin, my face fell off or anything like that. Um, I just mean that I went from mild-ish acne to cystic acne. Guys, um, if you don't know what cystic acne is or if you've never, um, if you, you've had acne or have acne and you've never experienced it, let me just give you a quick rundown of what cystic acne is is cystic acne is huge when I say huge huge bumps um, that form on your skin and they will grow on top of each other they will grow right beside like really really close right beside each other and they are painful extremely extremely painful and um and by this time, I I was already an adult. I was, you know, in my, my 20s, my early 20s. And, you know, I had never had cystic acne before in my life. So, again, I was faced with the um, realization that I had no idea what the hell was going on with my skin. Excuse my language for um, you guys that are younger that are watching this. But um, 
I had no idea what, what my skin was doing again. Um, so, so what did I do? Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> trying to remember you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to remember you guys, so please just bear with me. Okay, so my skin became very irritated, like extremely irritated. Again, I went from mild-ish acne to cystic acne. It was painful to the touch. It was painful to uh, sleep at night. It was painful to wash my face. It was just, it was painful to talk, chew, whatever involved my face, it hurt really really badly and um that's the thing when you have regular acne um most of the times if you pop your bumps you gen well I, I would just go by my experience i popped my bump bumps on my face from my acne for so many years that it left uh scarring and hyperpigmentation so i had really bad hyperpigmentation here and here um i'm gonna get a little closer in a minute and let you guys see what my face looks like now um, I do not have pictures from way back when because, um, you know, I that was not really a great time for me. So anybody who has had acne or, or is struggling with acne knows, for the most part, you do not like to take pictures. Or when you do, you, you're not trying to show them to the world. I wish I did have them. I didn't know I was going to ever make this video. Um, if I did, you know, if I knew, you know what they say, hindsight is uh, twenty twenty, But... If I knew I was going to make this video, maybe I would have kept the pictures. But anyway, um, so I went online and I found another topical uh, cleanser. And if I'm not mistaken, it was called Carly's. It, it's an all-natural product. Um, I think at the time I paid about $26, $27 for it. It came with a huge bar of vegetable um, soap. And it came with an 8-ounce bottle of the cleanser. Now, this was when I had my cystic acne. So what I did was I used the, the, I think you were supposed to use it twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. So you were supposed to wash your face with the vegetable soap first and then um, cleanse it with the cleanser, exfoliate and cleanser, and then, you know, um, rinse it off, you know, rinse the cleanser off or whatever. So I did that. Um, they said that within the first three to four weeks, you should see some type of an improvement. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, they had two kinds. It was my, the, uh, one for mild acne and one for more severe acne. And of course I chose the one for the severe acne. So I used that within the first two and a half, I would say weeks, the, um, the acne was not gone. You know, it wasn't a miracle thing or whatever. Um, it wasn't a miracle treatment. I used it the first two and a half weeks, the actual pain, like the excruciating pain from the cystic acne, um, actually started to slowly go away. So I was, um, really happy about that. You know, that, I mean, I just wanted the pain to go away. Like everything else I was going to figure out. But at that time I just needed the pain to go away because it's your face, you know? I mean, any part of your body hurting is, is, uh, you know, disheartening, but like your face you know so the pain started going away within the first month the huge bump started um diminishing and getting smaller um and then within the first like two two and a half months the big bumps were gone and i still had smaller bumps or whatever like that so i used it for about i would say five or six months the cystic acne never came back knock on wood <laughs> um yeah, so the cystic acne did not come back. So, of course, me being, uh, you know, myself and thinking, hey, I'm over it, you know, um, I stopped using it. Go figure. Um, it did not make my acne come back worse, which was great, but I still had acne, you know. And so, uh, at that point, I was just to a point where I'm like, you know what, I need to just go to a dermatologist. I need them to figure out what's going on with my face because this is ridiculous. I've been dealing with this my entire life almost and I'm I'm over it, you know. So I went to a dermatologist. Uh, you know, we tried, well, we we tried a pill first with some gels and creams and things like that. And um, my program would probably be much different from yours cause it, or from anybody's because um, it goes person by person. Everybody has different types of acne, different types of skin, blah, 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 blah. So I started going to the dermatologist. Um, literally, I think my face was thrilled. <laughs> my face was absolutely thrilled because it, it made a huge change or a step forward 
for change within like the first um month I would say and then within the first six months um the bumps like they you know just going over the regimen that the dermatologist came up with with me um it just my um breakouts became less and less until you know I didn't even really get breakouts during that time of the month um which was great <laughs> but um to this day like I mean it's only been a couple years since that happened so it hasn't been like many many years and my acne is gone and all that stuff no it's only been like uh like two maybe three years since I started going to my dermatologist and um I still use the I still, you know, take the pills that they um, told me I needed to take. And I still, uh, we finally found a cream gel that works for my skin. I'm not a healthcare professional, so I'm not even going to mention, like, the products and everything. Because, like I said, everybody has different skin, different types of acne. And what works for me might not work for you. So, it's not really, it's kind of pointless to get into the actual um, nitty-gritty of the details. You know, you'll find out um, if and when you ever go to the dermatologist to figure out your skin um, issues if you have any okay so um I had like really a lot like it was really dark um on my cheeks and it had been dark for years because again I had been popping my bumps for so many years it left scarring so now the topical gel that I use um it the dermatologist was really um forthcoming with me and let me know everything up front like hey listen um, it's not going to be an overnight thing, you know, it's going to take a couple, you know, maybe a year, maybe two, um, or maybe longer, you know, so the doctor, the dermatologist was really realistic with me. I had realistic goals and that's another thing that I want to say to you guys definitely have realistic goals when you go to the dermatologist because nothing is going to work overnight. You're going to have to put in the hard work. Um, you're going to have to follow the treatment plan that your dermatologist comes up with for you because that's the only I mean I'm not gonna say that's the only thing that'll help you but they know more than you do to be honest you know like not not even being you know like that or whatever they, they that's what they do every day you know that's what they study so they know more than you do so they they know um, enough to let you know this is what you should do for your skin and it'll help you manage you know, even if it doesn't completely take away your acne, it'll manage it better. So I'm going to get a little close to the camera. Ugh, I hate doing that when I do not have on makeup, you guys. But I'm going to get a little closer just to show you. Um, you know, I still I still do have problems. Um, problem areas with my skin and things like that. But it's a thousand times less than it used to be a couple years ago. Anyway, so here, like I still have dark marks. But um, trust me, they have gotten a lot lighter than they have been in a really, really long time. Like, there, I'm getting a little breakout. But that's one breakout compared to, like, the 20 I would get, you know, a couple years ago. Um, But, you know, I'm going to keep using my cream and, you know, keep taking the pills. And it'll it'll go go away in about a day. So, I'm... I'm cool but I'm gonna show you some of the things that I use to actually wash my face with every single day two times a day you'll see the bottle <laughs> the first bottle I'm gonna show you it's a little bit empty but I do have several other bottles because I love this stuff the first uh, thing I use is this it's called Biore and it's the charcoal um, charcoal for oily skin now as you can see like there's like nothing in here really it's like a drop um, but I do have a few more bottles, uh, in my cabinet because I absolutely swear by this stuff. I love this stuff. Um, it makes your skin feel really, really clean. Um, the second product that I use, um, is also by Biore. It is the baking soda for combination skin. And this, um, is actually an acne scrub and it has salicylic, uh, blah, blah, blah can't speak <laughs> it has salicylic acid um in here so I love this stuff as well but I um for the most part I love the charcoal one now I've also tried if you guys have heard of it's called uh I think the brand is yes to tomatoes um 
I've tried that, the charcoal kind as well. I've tried that, but that one has a really perfumey smell to it. It's really, really strong. I'm not a person that likes strong smells at all. I don't like strong perfumes. I don't, I, you know, I just don't like strong smells at all. So that one, mm, I don't think I really like it. Um, so I still have like a whole bottle of that because I won't really use it. Now this has a little bit of makeup on the outer side of the bottle, but I'll still show it to you guys. It's the Neutrogena Oil Free Moisture. It's a um a lightweight moisturizer. I swear by this stuff as well. I use this um you know after I wash my face and everything. I um and I don't use both of these at the same time. I'll use one maybe in the morning, one at night, or I'll just use this in the morning and night or this in the morning and night. I don't you know um combine them and wash my face with it. Um anyway. So I use this moisturizer. Um, I don't have it with me. I meant to bring it. <laughs> I meant to bring it in here so I can show you guys. Um, I started using a couple weeks ago, and I'm gonna be real serious with you guys. I started using the Estee Lauder Night uh, Complex uh, stuff. You know, I I'll put the name, the information about it down below. Um, I have the really big bottle of that. Um, it's very expensive, not gonna lie, um, but a, a, a drop goes a long way. Anyway, um, I use that stuff, but sparingly because it. When I first started using it, it started peeling my face so badly. I was like, oh, oh, mm -mm, we're not having this, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, that stuff is really, really. I mean, it's it's good. It's a good product. Um, again, I'll put the information down below. I wish I had it with me. I thought I brought it in here, but. Anyway, I'll put that information below. I'll put, ooh, I'll put all of this information below. You can get this at um, Walmart or, you know, your local uh, Walgreens, I, I think sells it. Uh, CVS, Rite Aid, you can get the Neutrogena uh, products from there. But I'll put all of these products in the information bar below. I'm not sponsored. This is just stuff that I've been using for a long time and I love it. Um... Yeah, so that is basically my acne journey. Um, as I said, I'm acne prone, so my skin, depending on what I eat, stress levels, what I drink, all of that stuff determines uh, what my skin does. So I, you know, I used to be a big soda drinker, like I drink soda all the time. Um, I stopped drinking soda, the carbonation actually flares my acne. <laughs> Um, I love chocolate. I did not cut chocolate out. Just so you guys know, I still love chocolate, but I don't eat it as much as I used to because that also um, feeds my acne. Um, what else? Anything with lots of sugars and um, like juices and things like that, lots and lots of sugar, that breaks my skin out as well. So it's just like with me, it was trial and error in the beginning. I kind of had to just figure out what... Um, what did what for my skin? Like, what made it better? What made it worse? Stuff like that. Stress. Stress is, <laughs> if you're acne prone or not, stress, depending on, you know, I mean, some people can't even deal with a little bit of stress and that will break them out. But stress levels of any sort breaks out my skin. So, um, I mean, I, well, I'm not going to say of any sort. If I'm, um, you know, if I'm really, really busy and I'm stressed out, because I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to go here, I need to go there. I need, you know, just everyday life is fine. But if it's like a lot of extra like with work or whatever like that, if I'm really stressed out, my face is ready to go. No. Boom. <laughs> you know. But um, like I said, the pills and the topical treatment from my dermatologist helps with that a lot. Um, but as I told you before, I'm getting a little breakout here. So it, it's not 100% effective, but it's about 99, 98, 99% effective with like helping, especially with me having a million things to do all the time. Um, so what else did I want to tell you guys? I think that was, um, basically about the gist of it. This video is about 25 minutes, so I'm gonna try, you know, I'm gonna cut it off here. If you guys want to know about this, no, I do not have my hair braided because you guys know I love to change my hair a lot. This is actually a wig that I will be discussing in a later video. Um, if you guys want me to discuss anything else about acne that I, you know, I've personally gone through, like I said, I'm not a healthcare professional, so, um, I can't give you any, you know, 
health advice. I can just tell you what I've gone through as far as my acne. And, um, you know, if you guys have any um, experiences experiences that you would like to share with me, you can do a video, tag me. Um, so I know you did a video or just let me know. You can put it down in the comment section below. Let me know your experience, what products you like to use, all of that good stuff. Or if there's any, um, now, as far as like acne type products, I'm a little bit weary about, um, trying out a lot of stuff because my skin is very sensitive as well. So, um, that, I mean, on that note, I, um, I kind of like to stick to the stuff that works for me. I don't go all crazy and start using all different types of stuff because my face will go crazy. So, I don't do that, but you guys can tell me some of the stuff that, uh, you guys have used, um, and what has worked for you and how you yourself got rid of your acne or if you had to go to a dermatologist. Whatever you guys want to let me know about your acne um, story, your experience, please feel free to comment below in the comment section. Um, again, this is Queenification 1. I hope to see you guys in the very next video, which will be on next Friday. Um, until then, I hope you guys take care. Bye-bye now.